Welcome back to Learn Python Programming for Complete and Absolute Beginners, the 2019 version. This is the most updated uh, course. So thank you guys for jumping in here. Now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go to the next step, all right? The next step is, I'm gonna show you how functions work. It's gonna be super simple to understand. You know how variables are used to remember certain things like credit card number? What's really cool is you can use functions to remember lines of code. So for example, this over here, right? What do all of these lines of code combined do? When I run this program, if you notice the lines I'm highlighting from 13 to 20, well, what are they really doing, right? What they're actually doing is making a square. So I'm gonna write something called a comment, all right? Comment is something the co computer code doesn't care about. Like for example, let's say I write something like this, right? My code will break, it'll give me, if I go to the console, it gives me an error. It says name comment not defined, everything breaks. But if I actually put a little hashtag here, it knows it's for humans and it won't break my code, my turtle square still gets made. So I'm gonna make a comment and my comment is just gonna say, this is a square. Okay, now if I run this, it'll make a square and anybody else who's reading your code will go, oh, I understand what this piece of code does. But what would be really cool is instead of, like if you wanted to make another square, right, what would you have to do? You would have to copy all of this and then paste it here again and then run the code. But that's not such a cool way to do that. So what we're gonna do is do a cooler way of doing it. So we're gonna create something called a function, all right? So I'm gonna go define and I'm gonna call this function a square and uh, we're gonna hit enter like this. Now, there's four spaces here, okay? which you need to pay attention to. When I hit enter, it's indented, and the indentation is really important because all of this code is part of this function, okay? That's the idea. And now literally what I can do is uh, I can actually copy this entire square code and paste it in here, and I can certainly remove it from there, okay? Make sure you highlight all of this and hit tab to indent it so it's all part of this function, okay? It's all part of that. For functions to make them show up, you have to call the function just like you have to call the variable. So here, we just define the function. But now if I do square, like, all right, so we have square. Now when I run it, if we go to result, let's go to, oh, whoops, uh, we misspelled it again. Let's go square, oh, square, man, that's bad. All right, so now that we've got square, you can see that the square actually goes and gets made. So now what's really cool is every time I just say square, it'll make that square, okay? So for example, I can say square and then I can say turtle dot forward and I can say 300. So what it's gonna do is gonna make the square and then it's gonna walk forward by 300. And now what I can say is I can just say square like this and hit enter. All right, so now it's gonna make a square, walk over 300 and then make essentially another square. Oh, it's uh, starting that square from the start, which is not what we want because we don't want a new turtle to be made every time we run this code. We basically just want the same turtle but who keeps making squares. Basically, what well, first thing we're gonna do is we don't want the turtle to keep being made over and over again. We're gonna pop that, uh, the Kazi turtle uh, all the way at the top, okay? And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna say Kazi underscore turtle, turtle dot forward, and then we're gonna say by 100, okay? Now when I run this, check it out. It makes a square, and then Kazi is gonna go 100 forward. Well, what we can do is make it, let's say 200 forward. So it should make a square, and then it should go, whoo, sprint 200 forward. And now what we can do is basically make another square like this, and hit enter. So now it should go make a square, go 200 forward, and then make another square, all right? It kind of looks like glasses if you look at it sideways or whatever. That's what's really cool about leveraging functions because it makes it easy to recall your code. It makes it really easy to understand your code and read for people because if you had those eight lines of code that were really repetitive, it just kept saying turtle.forward, uh, 100, turtle.right, 90, and it kept doing that. Well, now you defined it in one spot and you can just keep referring to it. So functions are super powerful, super cool, and you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of things with them, okay, that are much more complicated than what I'm showing you, 
but simplicity is very important when you're learning in the start. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. If more videos are gonna be coming out that are gonna be teaching you all of this, if you haven't already, how to automate stuff course will be opening up soon. So in the description below, sign up to that. Lastly, I have all your notes in this one called uh, how do functions work. So this is the URL for it, just in case. And if you go to it, then you can have access to all my code. You can just run it, use it however you want. And it's also gonna be in the descriptions below so you could leverage it, okay? With that said, thank you so much for watching. I love your face and I'll see you in the next video. Going on, hey man, how's that?